What is going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to another episode of On The Bench with Pete. This is the series where we paint along together or you can build along together. Sometimes I'm building, so we build together. Or I'm building and you're painting. I'm painting and you're building, it doesn't matter. Or you're just listening to try and get yourself to sleep. Whatever, it really does not matter. I'm having fun, hopefully you are too. We're enjoying our hobby together. And I've really got to get on with some stuff because it's been an age since I've done any painting. In fact, I haven't done any painting since the last On The Bench episode, so over a week. Not good. So let's get to it. Okay, so what am I going to be doing? I'm going to be working on the Primaris Space Marines, I think. And I'm going to be working on their like leather pouches and things like that, so I'm going to Take some Rhinox hide to get the base colour down for that one. And I'm using my wet palette, which I've I've just changed out, so it should be all good. I've had an interesting week. Um been a bit poorly. That's not the interesting part. <laughs> but uh, I've not I've not done any any painting is bizarre for me. I, I've just not been well enough. I, I've been poorly, too poorly to paint. Um, and I'll be honest, it was difficult even to make videos. So, if the quality of my videos has dropped recently, I um, apologise for that. Hopefully I can get it back up again. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, certainly been interesting. Um, these primary aspirines are taking too long now because I'm, a, I'm a, like a week behind on them and that's just not acceptable. I'm uh, very impressed though with uh, some of what I've seen on YouTube land um, with you guys doing them. Very impressed. And so fast as well. It's been, uh, it's been good to watch. But I, I, don't, I enjoy the painting process, and there's no rush. So, to be honest, the painting process is uh, very enjoyable. Uh, Enjoyable for me. Hmm. All good. All good. As Jam Jar Thirty Four would say, "All good in the hood." Sorry, Jam Jar, Nick, you're saying there. <laughs> you can have it back after. Oh, I had a question on one of my uh, on the bench episodes about this. Yeah, where do, not, something about where do I get it? The piece of plastic. It's actually a sheet of glass. It's a sheet of glass. Um, I'm trying to think what it was from, actually. It's been many things over the years. It's been a part of a cold frame. I've got a couple of sheets of glass. Anytime I get like bookshelves or anything like that with like glass sliding doors or little sliding things like that, I think it was glass sliding doors, like a little section on a bookshelf, which I decided to utilize for a cold frame at the time, and obviously now uh, as a palette. Yeah, I and mean, the glass is great because you can just mix. I think it's the best material to mix paints on I really do I mean the wet palettes are great for like doing this batch painting stuff but um, to mix paints I always prefer a harder surface and um, it seems to lend itself better to that it's 
Let's see if I can remember. Yeah, I lights in for a wonderful lights. Never enough light. Some of the areas on this uh, marine here are a little bit intricate or difficult to get to. And this is probably one of the easier ones. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. Uh, now, where am I going to put them? These guys have got pouches per se. No, well, he hasn't. He hasn't. Uh, he hasn't. So I think I'll start stacking them over by these guys or over that end. the ancient to see if he's got anything probably yes he has so we'll do that so yeah I've been quite poorly and it's been difficult uh, my last pink cue was difficult to um, to do um, but I've been doing them every week without fail for so long now I, I find it it goes against every part of my being if I was to not do it. I mean, I was I was literally so tired I felt nauseous. I hate days like that. That's after having a full night's sleep. To wake up feeling like that, I just can't abide it. That's my head in. There you go, it is what it is, I suppose. Alright, that's the ancient down. This is a captain. Uh, does he have any pouches I can get to at least? No, I don't think he does. A lot of them have the. Um, oh, what are they called? Purity seals, though. There'll be a lot of that at some point to do. But they're easy enough to do as well. Bit of Rakar flesh. Agrex earth shade and pallid witch flesh. And yeah, you're away basically. Where were the fairies? got a lot of pouches on. It's interesting. Got some square ones and a round one which is kind of cool. Breaks it up. Something I wouldn't mind getting into at a later date is the photography side of it. Well, I mean everybody takes pictures of the models I know but uh, when I say get into it I mean really get into it in a big way. Instead of building dioramas, like just set up dioramas using models that are already pre-based, and that you know, I think that'd be cool. Fun, I think it'll be fun. So I will do it. Love the big scale of these guys. Look who's over here. Do these guys have any patches? These centurions? 
Probably not, because they're in this, this big armour. No. Didn't think they would. Let's better double check there. Nope. Yeah. Just confirming. Sorry, the squeaking is my chair. It's a very squeaky chair. I think when we move, we'll get a new chair. Really ergonomic one. That'd be cool. I like them quite high. My chairs. Uh, I know you got to have like the right angle from your knees to the floor and all that. But I really do like them high. The higher, the better. For me, anyway. Okay, so I'll ask the usual question, what are you all working on? I'll be glad when these uh, Primaris Marines are done. And I say that, I'm not actually getting fed up with them or anything, I'm not. Just, um, I was hoping to have them done by now. That was all. Get on with the Death Guard and that. Oh, I'm reading the. Well, I've nearly finished actually now. The first Heretic, Horus Heretic novel. Absolutely brilliant. The best Horus Heretic novel I've read to date. And I've been reading them in order. So the first Heretic, I thoroughly recommend that one. Really good. I think it's time I had some tea. Oh, 11 minutes already. Wow, time really goes. It's willow bark I'm using. the rest of my tea that is <laughs> all right let's get this squad done so the new space marine codex is out I I mean I will get it but at 30 pounds I'm gonna have to wait for that one I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm quite happy just with the indexes. I know that there's differences in them, um, but I'm quite happy using them. My, I know my buddy's just as happy. He doesn't even have any rules or anything. He's just happy for me to get the indexes and say, "Oh yeah, just we'll play that. <laughs> it's fine." I don't play as much as I should, to be honest. But it's difficult. Hmm. Been rubbish weather here lately. Do you remember it wasn't so long ago 
I was seeing how hot it was, and I had the fan on and all that. It won't be long, you know, before I'll have the heating on instead. Chopwood such a dark colour is. I guess it's difficult when it gets in shadow to see if you've actually painted art. I think that'll do rather nicely. Right. So many cool models. And I'm also looking forward to painting my Congo faction forest tribes. Must get around to that sometime. got a pouch around the front too, which I missed. So my, my car's been out of action now for some time. I'm, I'm getting on alright without it. Yeah, I can walk most places on days I'm able to. Because lucky for me, the shop isn't too far away, you know, to order bits and pieces from and um, we can get our shopping um, delivered which is handy and then just any bits you know that are forgotten we got from the uh, local shop so that's, that's, that's very handy so I'm doing all right missed it today though because I was thinking about going out to um, do some filming where I used to live and obviously I rely on the transport for that and I can't do that there we go. of course I can borrow Mrs Mini Warzone's car any time I need to I just don't like to do that what I do and I don't. I like it because it's a lovely car to drive but I don't like doing it because it's not my car and it's um, not fair to do that. I know she doesn't mind but I don't, I'm not into that. Her needs are greater than mine in that respect. Unless, of course, I get a job where I need to travel to it some distance. And then in which case, I will obviously get myself a car. It's knowing what to do at the moment with the old one. I mean, I love it to bits, but it's just sat there on the drive. And of course, I've still got to insure it and stuff, so I don't know. It's not eating any food at the moment though, other than that. I'm sure a solution will present itself, like um, it usually does. I can feel that I'm still not 100% um, well, 100% for me. Uh, so 
my neck and shoulders are aching doing this. But it's been too long. I need I needed to get this done. And once I've done all this, I've then got to go back over and um, let's dry and um, do the next layer, and then again, and then again. your projects are going well. What plans have I got? Well my future plans, um, I've, I've built some terrain recently so my future plans are going to be uh, painting terrain at some point. Though I really do need to get these off the bench, but I don't want to rush it. I've got my Age of Sigma to start painting, which is quite exciting. Some of those models are amazing. Because they'll take up the all the bench as well, just from the box set. There's always, always something. <laughs> And I've got Marnius Kalgar on the way. I thought, as soon as I had I might as well have him. I really felt sorry for the word bearers in the first heretic story. It's a bit know, tragic almost. I wasn't much of a link to that, was it really? I should I should have said <laughs> going back to the um Horus Heresy book. <laughs> but yeah, no, I felt felt really sorry for them and Lorgar. Or Logar. I don't know how you pronounce the names in Warhammer until I hear someone say it like from Games Workshop or something. Logar, Logar. I can't remember if it's got an R in it or not. But do you know what I mean? Word bearers Primark. Didn't even want to be a fighter. Kind of thrust into it. Very interesting piece of lore, and more about the um, the Primarchs and Legions. You're not supposed to talk about other than any of the other books I've ever read to date. It seems all these have got uh, some form of pouch or holster. That's cool. I prefer it when they're um, already part of the figure you know, as opposed to having to stick them on yourself though I really don't like that. I just can't be bothered. A lot of my old Space Marines don't have um, pistol holsters or anything like that. I just can't be bothered to stick them on all of them. So there's too many. 
spoons I would now. I mean, I've did some, don't get me wrong, but I was like, oh, really? That's some bird you can hear, if you can hear it every now and again. A strange noise. Okay, I'm really enjoying this um, Dark Imperium box set. That's really, really good. I think once I've done their eyes, I'll probably um, call it a day on on these guys. But well, depends what order I do the final stuff in. But um, so what I, I guess what I'm saying is I think I'll do their eyes last. Did the bases because uh, I, I think a model comes on a long way when you do its base. Uh, I, I was always told faces and bases. Get them done. Your model looks. So at the moment my daughter is on her second week of NCS. And on the third which she's only doing it until Wednesday which is like stuff giving back to the community, doing stuff for the community and um, then she's away on a um, church camp then for a week. All go. What are we up to? Nearly half an hour. Wow. Time sure does fly when you're having fun. I can't wait to play these guys in the uh, game. I I am going to have a game with just the contents of the box set. See how that plays out. What I'm wanting to do though is more kill teamy stuff. get some death watch going as well because they are just amazing of course I've got to finish painting them first I've barely started I guess that's evidence as to how slow I am at painting and how short my attention span is. Get caught up in new projects. <laughs> Oop. Stuck to the glass. Thinking back on all the games I've played, of different games. Thinking what my favourite games I've played are. You know, I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't pin it down very far. 
I've enjoyed most of the games I've played. I'm, although I haven't played it for a while, Hordes and War Machine, I'll say I enjoyed Hordes better than War Machine. Just felt that that game mechanic lent itself better to like the magical and the fantastical as opposed to the uh, almost steampunk-esque battles I'm talking of steampunk is Malifaux classed as steampunk? I've never played Malifaux I've always been put off by it being a card driven system now don't get me wrong I, I don't mind cards you know some of my favorite games use cards i.e. Congo but they use dice as well I think combat is better with dice it feels better Just a personal thing, I, but I do. I think, I think in a, in a war game, combat feels better with dice. Just more satisfying. With Congo, of course, you've got different dice. D6s, D8s, D10s, which changes things up a bit. I like that. I like it a lot. <laughs> I think I'll be ready when we've done this one for a, a bit of a rest. It's going to be good getting this um, this bit done now because uh, it takes quite a while, as you can see. I have other miniatures as well, terminators and things which I I dug out thinking well I'll have to finish them really. Wimbledon came and went. I didn't even see a single match. That's how dedicated to my hobby I am. <laughs> Used to be an avid Wimbledon fan. I mean, I still am. It's the sort of thing I can pick up as and when if I fancy getting into it. I can just get right into it again, no bother. One of those things. Got a lot of pouches on this guy. Obviously, carrying a lot of ammo. 
grenades, various things. Yeah, that's good. Two more Primaris Marines to do. All I'm painting is pouches going to be leather. I'll be doing my leather effect. I think I'm going to use Scrag Brown at some point. This is definitely a level and um, a detail that requires a wet palette, I would say. Yeah. That's one of these guys. to the terminators So there's a helicopter. Last bit. So that's the Primaris Marines done. Let's see if there's any patches on these guys that could be uh, utilised. Not seeing anything on him. I just didn't want pouches on them. Couldn't be bothered. Right, there you go. Does Gilliman have anything like that on? Oh, probably not. Nope. 
about the death guard. Bull grins. Uh, bull grins. He has. He has. And he has. Right. I'm gonna do the bull grins then. With the leather effect. I'll do some uh, gun metal on them at some stage, but uh, right. back out with the wet palette. Sorry, I'm doing some ball grids. <laughs> Only because I've got it here, really, and uh, just as I'll do it now, as later. That sounds like my phone going off. Yep. Do you know my dog, Rufus, because it's uh, my wife's voice on the answer phone. He always thinks it's odd. He sort of cocks his head to one side and it's a bit like, oh. Sometimes he looks at the phone. Uh, if, if we're in, because we don't get to the phone in time, or we'll think, oh, we'll just see what it is first if we're expecting a call that we perhaps don't want to take. Uh, he'll look at my wife, then at the phone, then back again. And he's like, I don't understand what's going on. He winds to the phone. It's quite funny. There. It's probably my mum phoning up. I tried phoning her yesterday. <clears throat> she was uh, out, I think. I've got a few videos to um, edit together anyway. Oh, going to um, DevCon this year where I live. The DevCon convention. Um, it's my wife mainly and her. Her friend. She's going to go to advertise or put forward her book. Just putting it out there, putting it out there, so that uh, the fantabulous beasties are dressing up as characters. They're cosplaying as characters from the book, which is pretty fun. I thought, good idea. So I'm going to do a bit of vlogging for them, and I might do some vlogging for myself. I who knows. Well, that'll be fine anyway. Interesting. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what's there. Oh. 
Is there any of my Congo dudes? By and large, a lot of the characters aren't very good at fighting in Congo. Some of them are. But, um, there are times when I think I'd rather have like, like a group of Ascari or something, or Rugga Rugga, instead. <laughs> well, some of them are good, though. Cannibals are good in um, melee, but then they can't shoot, so you know, it swings and roundabouts. This guy does not remind me from of the Brandon, Brandon Fraser from the Mummy films. Oh, I watched a, a video by WG Revival today actually, I came across it. He had some of his first grave figures done. One was a werewolf, uh, well that looks quite good, I don't mind getting that and painting it. And it's like from a classic uh, GW line, and I, I saw one on eBay, like 31 quid, I thought, you having a laugh? Paying that for a 28mm figure. Look good all painted up though, I'll be honest. But that. So I've been Diana Jones, this one. Uh, Dr. Jones. <laughs> that a bad accent there. I think when I finish with these guys on this brown, I'll call it a day, because my neck is really aching.
He's got a sword scabbard, which might also benefit. And a, and a like a satchel backpack thing that might benefit from being Rhinox hide. It's time to go and get another cup of tea after this. Finished my tea early, so feeling parched now. Oh, and he's got a water canister. Which is always handy in Congo. Well, it would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm gonna look at see if they've got any holsters or anything I can nah, I can do. Whilst we're in Rhinox hide mode. At this stage, don't have to worry too much about going over other details because uh, it's the only one on there at the moment. Right. So I'll bring my, my wet palette in. So, do the straps as well, yeah. Do the straps as well. We've got this officer gentleman here. Make sure everyone's got any holsters or pouches or anything. He's got a rock sack, but all that to be leather, to be honest. His water canister can be. strap that's carrying it. Uh, that one. Uh, of course he's got a uh, couple of holsters. Oh, 
the harness, which is holding it on him, so that's got to be leather too. Doesn't actually start looking like leather until a couple of highlights time, but it'll do for now. Don't think this gentleman has any. Uh, he's got a stick thing. Oh, God. Not like I don't know what it is. Possibly a baseball bat. But I'm not sure. Just looks like it. Though. Might not be. Walking stick, I think it's meant to be, but it looks uncannily like a baseball bat. <laughs> right, and the last one, which was the first one we did on these guys. Pouches, not really. Part of his coat. Right, okay. That then truly is that. Put my lid of my wet palette on. Wash out my brush a bit. Then I'll, I'll um, put the master's brush on it. Okay, so I'm going to end it here. Ah, there we go. So thank you so much for joining me on this episode of On The Bench. You really helped me get a tedious thing done, i.e. all the pouches, leather bits. Oh, that was tedious. Well, it would have been had I not had you to hobby along with. So thank you for that. Uh, remember, all brushes lead to what? I uh, will see you on the next video. Bye for now.